Orange groves with their fragrance of orange blossoms offer a rendezvous for the busy bee. Nestled in the hills away from the wind is a favorite spot for an apiary. The beekeeper, on friendly terms with his charges, but you never can tell. Well, it's safer to wear a net. Stupefied with the smoke, the worker bees may be handled with safety. In this most admirable of worlds, all work is done by the female. 50,000 worker bees, count them if you think we're wrong, all swarming up for air, or maybe their paycheck. Don't crowd, ladies. One of the girls is so in love with her job, she works herself to death in six weeks. <laughs> what a life. This little lady is a honey bearer whose strong wings will carry her for many trips between the hive and the blossoms. Deep into the heart of the flower, the honey bearer sticks her tongue, this hollow tube through which she gathers her quota of honey. However, work as she will, the feast is not for her, but will be stored in the hive for future generations. That's what the bees get it. Being a conscientious worker, this honey bearer will brook no interference with her plans, and if disturbed, can very quickly bring her weapon of offense into play. The business end of this worker, her sting. Attached to a poison sac containing a drop of formic acid which is forced into the wound through this hollow barbed sword. The bee can sting but once. She dies in her own fury trying to pull her barbed weapon from the burning spot. Hail to the queen, monarch of the entire hive. The queen's sting, curved like a scimitar, is never drawn against any living thing except another queen in battle royal. When the time arrives, the queen will pick her drone for company and go on her honeymoon flight, probably the only time she will ever leave the hive. The drone, lazy fellow, does no work at all and lives in every luxury. What a break! No, this is not a toy balloon, just a souvenir of the brief elopement one of the two million eggs laid by the queen. This egg will hatch into larva after four days. And believe me, this little larva craves a lot of attention and gets it. Nurse bees bringing food and wax bees bringing wax for the cell until the larva can hardly be seen for the jelly food that surrounds it. Devouring its sticky overcoat in one week the larva shows signs of life, and judging from its wiggle, it will probably be a worker bee. The larva then spins itself a cocoon in 36 hours, for like the butterfly, the bee passes through a cocoon stage before it achieves wings. The nursery of the hive, always kept apart from the section where the bees store the honey. Eager to begin her heroic existence, the baby bee eats her way through the waxen wall of her birth chamber. Only the bees know whether this baby is to be a nurse, a builder, a honey bearer, a housekeeper, or perhaps a guard for Her Majesty the Queen. Come on out, little fellow, and let's see what you look like. Well, there you are. Just a little wobbly, but you'll be all right after a little rest. Nature does not provide enough queens, so man has found a way to create them to order. First, he removes larvae from any of the cells in the hive and transplants it to artificial cells. They are then placed in the frame upside down, for only in that undignified posture will the queen consent to be born. The artificial cell as man begins it. And now to fool the bees. Placing the frame in the nursery hive, the beekeeper knows the workers will proceed to work at once. Hosts of builders swarm on the cell. Nurses bring royal jelly distilled of the essence of flowers as food for the coming queen. The cell after five days. More workers join to create warmth to melt the wax secreted by wax bearers. Finished and sealed in 10 days, the cell is ready to yield up its queen. Every inch a queen, 
and ready to direct her workers as they make bee lines between the hive and the blossom-laden orange trees. And all this is done so that we may have the fragrance from the very heart of this orange blossom, which will later come to us in the form of honey. And what would breakfast be without honey to flavor our morning hotcakes? <laughs>